students how are you i hope you are enjoying your study at your home with interesting online topics and assignments given by your teachers i your english subject teacher recommend you to follow lockdown rules and regulations and to stay home stay safe students i hope you would have completed your first topic sentence and its points this is our first online video class in which we are going to discuss about our next topic subject and predicate do you know about subject students what is predicate what are the order of subject and predicate in a sentence is subject and predicate part of a sentence my students after we get done with this chapter you will be able to answer all these questions your all doubts related to this will be clarified are you ready to go on study adventure with me come on students take your pen notebook and don't forget to concentrate let's start the class this is chapter number 2 the topic is subject and predicate the objectives to learn this chapter are at the end of this lesson students will be able to define the terms subject and predicate as the two parts of a sentence students can define a sentence in a better way they can identify subject and predicate in sentences now students let's start the topic analysis before starting the topic let's revise the sentence what is sentence students a group of words that makes a complete sense is called a sentence it always begins with a capital letter and ends with full stop question mark and exclamation mark These group of words are meaningful sentences. They don't depend upon another word or group of words to make sense. For example, the baby is laughing. In this example, T, the first letter T is written in capital letter and ends with full stop. Now now that we have learned what a sentence is let's learn about the part of a sentence a sentence can be divided into two parts first one is subject and second one is predicate when we add any subject to with any predicate it becomes a sentence students let's talk about subject and predicate one by one in detail Let's start from the subject. What is subject students? The part of a sentence that speaks about somebody or something is called the subject. The subject names the person, place, animal or thing. In simple words, the part of a sentence that talks about a noun or pronoun is the subject of a sentence noun or pronoun is the subject of a sentence in this example the baby is the noun so it is a subject it is a subject of the sentence in the above example the baby is the subject of the sentence students once again i will remind you that the noun or pronoun of any sentence will be the subject of the sentence now let's talk about the predicate what is predicate students the predicate refers to the part which tells us something about the subject the predicate contains the verb in simple words the other part of the sentence that tells us about the subject the predicate of the sentence 
in this example the baby is laughing in this example we have already learned that the baby is a noun so it is a subject the other part other part from the main verb to the object is the predicate of the sentence it tells about the subject so it is the predicate a predicate is what the subject does it tells the action of the sentence in the above example is laughing is the predicate of the sentence students you have to remember two words first noun or pronoun will be the subject and the second point is the rest part the rest part is the predicate of the sentence now students let's talk more about subject and predicate the subject usually comes before the predicate in a sentence in following example you can see that the subject comes before the predicate and predicate comes after the subject but in some cases the order of words may be changed for example what frightened flag in this example you firstly you have to, you will have to identify the noun flag is noun so it is a subject and the rest part the rest part which tells about the subject is the predicate so what frightened is the predicate you can see in this example that predicate comes before the subject and subject comes after the predicate sometimes the arrangements of the subject and the predicate in a sentence may be changed depending on what is being said or how it is being said in this example you can see that this is an ex assertive example and in assertive example the subject comes before the predicate but this is an interrogative sentence so the subject comes after the predicate now students let's find the subject and predicate in following example first example is the little tree was covered with snow students i have already told you that the noun or pronoun is the subject of a sentence while identifying any subject you will have to find out the noun or pronoun of given example so students in this example the little tree is the noun so it will be the subject of the sentence and the rest part from the helping verb to the object it tells about the subject so it is the predicate in second example my friends and i won the match in this sentence my friend is noun and i is pronoun so this is the subject and from main verb to the object it is a predicate in third example bob is a footballer students can you identify the noun yes bob bob is a noun so it is a subject is a footballer it tells about the subject it tells about the bob who is bob bob is a footballer so it is the predicate the children are enjoying in the park in this example the children is a noun so it is a subject are enjoying in the park it is a predicate 
it is about the children what are the children doing in the park children are enjoying in the park so predicate tells about the children so it is a predicate i hope students you would have understand the topic subject and predicate in the next video we will discuss about interesting assignments worksheets and activity related to the topic till then prepare your notes at your home and revise it again and again take care and again stay home stay safe goodbye students